the summer of 07, they found you know, all these tumors in my abdominal cavity. I was stage four malignant melanoma. And uh, the, they, well, I was told there is no real good treatment. There are some treatments you can do that will maybe hold it at bay for a certain amount of time, but it will come back with a vengeance. Well, I grew up in Villisca, Iowa. I was, I, been, I was born and raised there on a farm. Well, what I love about Iowa is that everything is so green. In June, a lot of part of June and July, I don't think there's any more beautiful place in the world. I started looking and, uh, and my daughter has worked in oncology most of her nursing career. And she knew about John Namionitis and explained to me how it was to uh, use your immune system to, to fight the cancer. In uh, June, I started on these treatments. They took some tissue from uh, some, one of my largest tumors and they made a vaccine from it. And so then once a month, I would come down to Mary Crowley and get a shot. And they would first, one month would be in the left arm and the next month would be in the right arm. I really didn't feel anything going on, but at the same time, uh, I had several CT scans and each time they showed a, a little less tumor. And then when I finally had this last, uh, PET scan, why, according to that, all the tumors were gone. I've gone from stage four malignant melanoma to where uh, I'm basically cured for now. There are no tumors in my body. A lot of people are, are so afraid or skeptical of doing a, a clinical study, and and I really wasn't. I just, you know, I just thought, well, I really don't have much choice. It's either do nothing or try one of these, and I thought I would sure as heck give it a try. I want to thank my family and John Unitas and everybody at Mary Crowley. Whenever you went there, you felt like you were one of the most important patients they'd ever seen. <laughs> and I know that's not true, but, but uh, they made you feel like that.